Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's look at the same problem we did on the previous video with one big difference. Now order does not matter. And since order doesn't matter, instead of looking for permutations, we're now looking for combinations, the total number of combinations for a four character license plate. And also keep in mind that still non-repeating letters. That way this equation will work. So we've seen this equation before. Now we're looking for the number of combinations. So let's go ahead and plug in what we have. Notice there's 26 letters in the alphabet and we're picking four letters for a four character license plate. So this would be equal to 26 factorial divided by 26 minus four factorial and then multiply times one over R, which is four factorial, the number of characters in the license plate. So this becomes equal to 26 times 25 times 24 times 23 times 22 times 21 and so forth, all divided by 26 minus 4 is 22 factorial, so it would be 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 times all the way down to times 1 and times 1 also. And then we have 1 over 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And notice that everything from 22 down cancels on top and bottom. So we have these four left and then these four in the denominator. So this is equal to, when we calculate the numerator, ah, I still have the number from my previous video on my calculator, the top there ends up being 358,800. And then we have to divide it by 4 factorial, which is 6 times 4, which is 24. So divide that by 24, and we get 14,950. So if order didn't matter, and those three license plates were the same, then of course you'd only have 14,950 combinations instead of 30, uh, 358,800 permutations. Now of course for license plates it makes sense to not use the combination rule, use the permutation rule, so you can get a lot more out of it. And by the way, it's obvious to most people that if those are license plates, those would not be the same. Those would be good for three different cars. So that's how you do it when the order does not matter, but that's of course a less useful example, but at least you can see the difference between combinations and permutations based on the fact that either order matters or order does not matter. And that is how it's done.